Okay, today's project we have this cool little mid-size RV and the customer wants a heavier bumper on it, incorporated tow hitch, and a rack for carrying his coolers and firewood. So these things come from the factory with a thin wall 4x4 four four square tubing bumper. It's like sixteenth of an inch thick. And then he had a tow hitch on the bottom here, but it hung very, very low. So what we're gonna do is, he pulled the bumper off himself. We're gonna build some new brackets. Their brackets only came in to like right here. And we're gonna bring them to the inside of the frame rail and forward much further. And then we're gonna weld the hitch onto this heavy wall four by four box tubing. And then we're going to take some additional receiver tubing and weld them to the top on either side near the frame horns. And then he wants a three foot by eight foot rack that will slide into there and slide out. So let's get started.
All right, the owner came by last night. We mocked it up and we looked it over, and he was very pleased with the way that it's coming out. And so what we're going to do today is final weld out on some of these, and we're also going to get this basket tacked into place. He wants the cargo basket back here. And we've got the support post in here with a tiny bit of play. But what I'm concerned about is by the time this entire frame is built, if these get off in any way, or if he puts any type of load in the center here, it's going to bind this up and it's going to be very difficult to remove. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to wrap the ends of these with a little bit of tape, a thin layer of tape, and that's going to put the, the post, that's going to put this metal piece right in the center of the receiver. And that will give us a little tiny bit of play. And then the other thing that he talked about wanting to do was add a strip of metal in here so that you don't see all of the reinforcement back here. And then we've got to add a small plate here, and he wanted this hidden toward the back for the trailer wiring plug. So we'll get it welded up, a couple hours of work there, and we'll see what we end up with. Okay, last steps, we've got to cap these ends here, and then he wanted the plate, just the beauty plate there, to kind of cover that open area. So we'll get those two things plasma cut out and welded on. Okay, this is for our trailer plug. It's going to get welded on like so, and notched out. Okay, that's got to be plasma cut. Look at that cut. Not a lick of slag on there, man. I think since this stuff is thin wall and not plate, I think it'd be cool if we put a, a bend in it. You know, since I did the video on this thing, I've added these springs under here, and man, it makes a lot of difference. I don't need the pry bar anymore. I think that pretty much sums it up. Knock down some of those edges, some of those bubbles on the welds. We'll go put it on the RV. Okay, film the whole project. So I see what you're 
Alright, we've got the single bolt back there and the five bolts up here. Six bolts per side. Those five are factory holes and I added this one back here. Just because there might be a great deal of leverage on here at some point. <laughs> 